Welcome to Flash Instincts. Today, we're gonna talk about microvision and why after 3 p.m. went nuclear mode. Why did the short squeeze that I predict actually happen? Before I begin, I'd like to tell you I'm not a financial advisor, but I do speak from a humbled opinion. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. First, I'll explain what the rumor was and how it was confirmed. I'll give the technical analysis on where we at, where we can be. And third, I'm gonna give you my personal inner feelings on why I am actually making videos for you guys. So we begin, why did it blow up? It blew up because of the reason that Microsoft came out with the news. They have a new government agreement for the US Army for a $22 billion investment on their HoloLens 2. The lens that I said can see through tanks, that can see through the side of the wall. Okay, this is next level revolutionary tech. Now, how does that benefit microvision? That's the real question, right? Especially for the new ones, the new people joining our crew. How can microvision benefit from Microsoft's new deal? You see, as stupid, there's a guy, he's on Reddit, he's on stock twits. Everybody knows him, all right? He did something that was revolutionary. I'm gonna put the link to his video below. But in essence, what he did is that he showed the community that the hollow lens by Microsoft, the inner parts, the Pico lens, the Pico P, they're being manufactured solely by Microvision. It's obviously, it's a low key deal. And because Microsoft needs Microvision, it blew up. What are the rumors? The rumors show that, hey, one, we have a potential buyout. Now let's put a perspective to the buyout. Imagine having an item and the only potential buyers for your specific item is Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. Who has the advantage here? Which company really has the advantage? Ask yourself this. This is the product that everybody in the world wants. It's a race for autonomous vehicles, autonomous driving. It's a race for future technology, for hologram technology, using laser to the next level. Microvision is rumored to be the founder. It's one of the founding legs of this big boost. Now, on the other hand, you may be concerned about the bond yield interest rate going up or the inflation going up because of the stimulus. But let me give you another perspective. You see, the power of technology and humanity to rise above any resistance, there's no price to that. Therefore, you cannot measure it using bond yield interest nor inflation. You see, we're investing, people invest based on what? What you deem the value of that company to be or potentially be. Now, as a result, when people ask what is the real microvision price target, it's what you feel is the value of microvision. Ask yourself, are the rumors coming true? Are these rumors actually factual? Should I look into this company? Just ask yourself this. And if you can recall the very moment why you're purchasing or buying a stock in the first place, then you'll know whether it's a hold or not. Now we're gonna get into the technical analysis, but in the end, I want you guys to listen to me and I'll share my inner thoughts on why I'm sharing this video. Due to that fact, and because a lot of people are connecting the dots, these rumors are becoming true. Every rumor that's coming out for microvision is coming to fruition. We still got anticipated news like the near April 30th release of the new A sample for microvision. We also got another rumor of a buyout. And now because this news was released that Microsoft and the US government is partnering up, as a result, microvision instantly, without hesitation, went straight nuclear. Nuclear launch detected. On the technical analysis chart, I'll show you this. We broke the 1550 resistance like nothing, okay? Then we passed and tested 1750. We broke it and went straight to the $19 range. This is a crazy resistant line. We tested this four times and we got rejected. Even after market, Microvision hit up to $19, went right back to the 1750 support. Now guys, we might have for the future, for the next uh, pre-market, it might try to test it yet again. However, let this soak in and let the world know that Microvision is here to play with the big boys. So furthermore, on the technical analysis part, what resistance levels does Microvision have leading up going further? You see guys, that $19 resistance level, it's very difficult at the moment, yes, if you're looking at the short picture, right? But hopefully by now you guys see the big potential, right? And the world is already catching on. These big investors, the Moon ETF, BlackRock, Vanguard, all of these institutions, they're picking up, guys. So $19 is a very huge resistance. It tested here four times, right? But based on volume, if the volume continues and if we have momentum, let's say Sumit Sharma comes out and ready to bang it out, what's gonna happen? 
there's very little resistance going beyond. There's one at the last peak high of the $24, $25 range. But after that, guys, there is no limit. My provision has no limit. That is the technical analysis. That is it. Everybody's taking microvision for granted, but let me tell you something. It is coming for every other company in the world. You wanna look down upon a guy who's building the real tech? All right, it's time to show what microvision is made of. Let the bond yield interest rate go up. Let everybody renege or talk down upon technology in the future, laser technology. Let people worry about inflation rates going up. Let them forget about humanity's power and will to innovate and change the world. Now, you think I'm a pumper? Yeah, right. Look at my last video. I told you, you had a chance. It was going to go boom. Below 13 was a buy. Today, it went to 19. Like, this is next level games. I'm not trying to show off. I'm trying to give you facts. If you want to follow me, you can and subscribe. Because at the end of the day, I'm being honest. I keep it real. And I try to make you guys be aware of microvision. One thing that people say is, hey, how can the rich give back? I wish I was rich. How come they don't donate? There's different ways of donation, of giving back. How do you know Elon Musk, when he tweets, it's not a way to give back to the community, to the world? You can invest based on what, what Elon Musk has been saying for the past century. You're over a millionaire, 100%. For the past century, if you listen to Elon Musk. So his way of giving back is just educating, giving you treats to become a millionaire boom like that so maybe we're doing the same thing my way of giving back of whatever i'm gaining yeah it's my way of giving back to everybody all right so if you want to subscribe go for it i don't make any money from youtube nothing none i don't give a crap about discord following me on weeble for extra potential stocks I don't need any of that. I'm not here for none of that bullshit. This is my way of giving back. You don't need to give me a single dollar, nothing. You can subscribe if you like, but that's just following me. I don't get any money, all right?